Welcome to the Formatting Rules module. Notice that AllTouchTE is the name of the Zebra Technologies solution for the Velocity solution sourced through Wavelink. So even though you see Velocity on the screen, this is the AllTouchTE solution sold through Zebra. Click on the Next button to continue. The Formatting Rules module will cover All Touch TE's modern predictive formatting algorithm. The algorithm used element types and allows for the element types to be predefined globally or locally. Last, we will discuss the defining of key text and how it tells the All Touch TE client how to redisplay the screen. The latest mobile computers include amazing displays with multi touch capability. All Touch TE leverages the best of the bright touchscreen interface by taking the text-based information from your host application and converting it automatically to an intuitive, easy-to-navigate mobile app. The All Touch TE client utilizes a built-in HTML and CSS rendering engine to interpret the design of your green screen captures rather than requiring a complete redesign of your emulation server. By default, it interprets your existing screens with a predictive formatting functionality algorithm that interprets the layout of each screen and the presentation of individual elements. When using the All Touch TE client, you can rely on the default styles applied to each screen for immediate use on your host profiles. Or, if you want to edit element styles for individual screens or all of them, you must first Import the screens associated with a host profile into a project on the All Touch TE console. Once imported, you can then begin editing screen elements. The All Touch TE console is used to configure screens that override the default predictive formatting. You can use the predictive formatting algorithm when it works and use the All Touch TE console to make changes when minor tweaks to the screen will improve productivity. As part of predictive formatting, the All Touch TE client is able to interpret your existing screens to break down existing text elements and divide them into a predetermined list of elements. We will discuss those elements later in the module. The rendering engine then applies a series of predefined styles to each element to create a reformatted screen. These styles will also be discussed later in the module. Each screen consists of multiple elements. Each of these are editable through the All Touch TE console, which offers multiple configuration options to create unique or branded styling that is applied via the app's built-in HTML and CSS rendering engine. Elements on a screen can be edited on a per-screen basis, meaning the changes you make to a single screen element won't be applied to all elements of a similar type. Or, through the use of themes, you can create formatting styles for each element type that is applied across all screens. The banner element, when configured to on, activates a banner element that appears at the top of the screen. A banner can consist of an image, banner title, or both. The configuration of the banner element follows all of the general predefined styles that will be discussed later in the module, as well as some unique settings that will be discussed in detail in the Configure Screen and Project Settings modules, as will all the following elements we will discuss in this module. Think of the header element as the title of the screen that is being displayed. This is the way the user is able to determine just what screen they are working on. The data label element is dynamic subheader text that is used to label fields. This element allows you to change the label for an all touch TE HTML rendered screen, but will not alter the black and green version of this label. The data type element is static subheader text that is used to label fields. This text for this value cannot be altered. The field element defines one or more input fields on a screen. 
the AllTouch TE client can take input from the keyboard, scanner, or other defined input methods. The menu element will display items in a menu format on the AllTouch TE screen. When one of the menu elements is selected by the user, the corresponding attribute is sent to the process to move forward in the application. The message element has three different message types. Error message, which defaults to a red color, will look for the word error in the message. This gives the appearance that the message is quite important and the user should take heed. The warning message defaults to a yellow color. This is a message that the user should be aware of, but this may not stop the process from moving forward. The information message defaults to blue and is a message of notification, and it is not something that is going to affect the process at all. The message element is only available in the settings screen, which configures a global theme. More about this and project themes in the project settings module. Each element is associated to default styles, as set by AllTouch TE's predictive formatting. We call this Element Predefined Styles. The configurations can be edited by an administrator globally or by each screen. There are common items that can be configured, and those will be discussed here. Any element that has a unique configuration will be discussed in the modules for the Settings menu options, which covers themes and other global items, as well as the Screen menu option that covers the screen-by-screen -screen configuration. The font family specifies which font to use for the element. When this value is set, all elements of the same type are subject to the same font family styles, serif, sans serif, and monospace. The font size specifies the size of the element's font text. This can be adjusted from 10 to 20 points. The default value is dependent on the element type selected. The font color specifies the color of the visible text for this element. This is the font color only and does not pertain to the background color of the element. The font background color specifies the background color of this element. Be aware that if there is not any contrast with the font color, the text might not be readable at night. Once the font family, size, and color are configured, you can also configure the style of the font. Bold option. Selecting this option bolds the element text. Italics option. Selecting this option italicizes the element text. Underline option. Selecting this option underlines the element text. By default, none of these options are selected, so they must be user configured. Again, these are configurable attributes that are common to all elements. Later, we will discuss unique attributes. The theory of key text is that you can create a screen template rule upon which reformatting changes are based. If other screens contain the selected key text, that screen is automatically reformatted to the styles applied to the template screen. When a screen is added into the AllTouch TE console, key text selections are automatically chosen for the screen using a predefined algorithm built into AllTouch TE. In this example, Outbound Picking and Scan Task Number are selected by the Key Text algorithm. It is important to note that the Key Text Match is freeform and does not discriminate on column and row. Therefore, it is important that when selecting Key Text, that it is known that the order of the text on the screen matters. Outbound picking must appear first in a top-down order, and scan task number must appear any time after. If this order is not followed, the screen is not selected for reconfiguration. The cursor position is also selected by default as key text. This functionality does not discriminate on column and row of the cursor. This allows for a screen with multiple input fields to determine exactly what screen and input is being required. In the Configure Screens module, 
we will walk through adding and deleting key text on a screen. You have now completed the Formatting Rules module.